Welcome to Railgrade. My name is Neil Laus, and this is a showcase video of a new game that is recently released on Epic Game Store. Railgrade is a management sim about using railways to transport resources and power industry on an off-world colony, construct multi-level train networks, manage supply chains, and help restore industrial production in the wake of economic disaster. That is how the game styles itself. Uh, you may have noticed as uh, that there is no background music, and that's because... Uh, if any YouTuber makes a video with music, then uh, the company will issue uh, copyright takedowns for that. So that is a, a questionable choice, in my opinion. This is a showcase video where I'll be showing you how the game works and uh, give you a sense of the ups and downs and the uh, good and the bad so that you can make a decision whether this is a game you want to play yourself. Before we dive in, I want to say that I was offered to do a sponsored video for this game, but I declined, and yet here I am doing exactly the kind of video that I would have been paid to do. I declined because the agency wanted to improve the content I made before I could release it here on YouTube, and I will never accept those terms. If you see sponsored uh, content on this channel, it's paid to showcase. My opinions are never for sale. So I want to thank the people supporting on Patreon for allowing me to stay true and independent. Let's take a look at how this game plays. Uh, it works the following way. If we jump into a the story mode, we're just going to continue where I am in the story. Each mission works in a, in a way that it, it's structured or game structured in a way that there are several missions, many missions, about 50 missions, uh, and each take place on a small map such as this, which makes it, makes it more of a puzzle game than sort of the grand scale that you see in other games like how trains work in Factorio for example so it works more like a puzzle that you have to solve and reach some targets and you also have a timer uh, the timer is uh, is giving you basically if we choose like this then there is a timer that if you can complete it within 15 minutes you get S rank and that basically means that the faster you can complete you get uh, higher points this is uh, the points are vouchers and vouchers are used to unlock uh, unlock new new resources here and upgrades as well as more music that we can play so each of these missions you complete them and then you move on to the next one if we look at how they are tied together if we visit the overworld we have here an overworld map which is sort of a mission map starts with tutorial missions and then move into uh, more missions here there are side missions they're all tied together with a story that sort of uh, can propagates the flow through the missions and uh, each missions will be progressively more complicated. Uh, generally, I would say that the missions, they, the first one takes a shorter time and I would say that they probably take, they probably take about 30 minutes. So maybe the later ones take a longer time uh, to, to complete. So there's, a, there's quite a, a decent amount of content in this game. What we'll be doing in this video is we'll be diving into a mission. Um, we'll just be taking a look at, at the mission and then just playing it out and see it, and then I'll explain how it works and how we do make the decisions inside the game. And we are in here on the actual map. Let's have a look at what it is. And the way it works is that we get a main mission, which says open the faucet, export eight steel, kickstart production of the steel mill, be prepared for further extreme expansion. Lovely. So that is our first objective and let's go through what we have on the map we have a zeppelin dock this is used for exporting so anything we get here will just be thrown out of the map and we'll get money for it every delivery we make we will get uh, money oh look at that i can right click and then get everything so here we have no let's take the central part this is all about the steel mill so a steel mill if you look at it it needs workers it has speed and level this is the calculation of how fast it is it needs input two iron and two coal and that makes two steel. If we add a catalyst, that's energy, then it gets plus 100% to our production for 90 seconds. So that is another thing. Um, what we also have is we have a voucher upgrade where we can buy music that we can't listen to and we can get upgrades that we don't need for this mission. We have a bank where we can deposit money. I will deposit a lot of money because I don't actually think I need a lot of money here. Uh, and I'd rather get interest rates uh, for all of this. So we'll just uh, do that. Uh, over here we have coal and we have a coal power plant we have housing this is where we have 20 workers we have accountancy this one just gives us the stats we have over here and we have more coal at this point so it looks like we want to get some coal in here and some iron in there and then get the export this way so the first thing we want to do is start making our tracks and since they have been talking about the uh, upgrade we want to make something that can scale up. So let's start drawing some tracks like this. And there. So we'll have uh, some parallel tracks here. And then we make stations. You can see that they are 
connected the way the stations work. It's a bit weird, but okay. Uh, this means that if they have four stations, first of all, once you have the stations, then whatever any one of them is pointing to can now go into this location. That means uh, these are because this one could hit here and here, and this one can hit here. So that means all three of them are now uh, included in this in each of these stations. And if there are for each station you have, then you can load one wagon per one time unit with one unit, and one load is we're only dealing with full loads here so that it just means that if i have a one four train then it comes in and takes it one cycle to load everything again like very simple but uh, hey it uh, it gets the job done we're gonna go over here and get exactly the same uh, i will be getting that out and we are also going to make sure that oops um uh, let's take that we want to make sure that we get our train is one, two, three, four. Okay, so we can actually do this loop a bit further here. That one. We want to leave space here for the export back to the Zeppelin dock. This one. But that's uh, going to be a later thing. Oh, uh, this is a problem because it's bumping into here. Uh, anyway. So you can see that we... We'll now follow the train. If I do one bump up, then it costs more, but we will also be able to uh, just not go as much up and down in on our tracks as we uh, previously did there. That looks good. So it comes in, goes in here, and I will also have two stations at this location because we know that we're going to get a lot of, uh, of inputs and outputs here. So... That will be two stations. I don't really know if I like that location though. I'd probably rather have it like this. There. And then we need, need to loop it back. And that needs to go to this point here. That looks fine. Good. So we have a closed loop. No workers assigned. We'll assign workers for this one. We'll also assign workers here. Not something that really matters very much for us right now. I'm not going to be setting up any trains because, as you can see, the timer hasn't started yet. So it only starts once we uh, we set the first trains in motion. So we don't want to set the trains in motion until we are ready. I will also need, at this point, um, like this. There. That will also be two stations. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And as you can see, they we're not really putting a massive effort into making things absolutely gorgeous in every sense. Uh, let's see, where do we want it? Mm. Oops, salvage. Up, up. Let's get this around and... Oh yeah, it can overlap. What? There we go. So now this is all in a higher elevation, which is nice. Uh, what we do need is making sure that we can... Again, also we need two of those uh, unloaded locations here. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great. So now we have also unloaded locations. And the last thing we want to get is the input from this line into here. So that's also going to be a bit, yeah, it's probably fine. If we look at it, yeah, I like this. Get that line and get it out here. Oh, I don't think this is a great, we need a sharper turn here. Because I am going to need, oops. There. And we're also going to get the same on this side, an extra bypass. There. And we get trains. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's kind of, it's not, it's not great. It's not great. Uh, this is not great. Yeah, let's, let's be honest about that. That's not great. And what? Simplification. I don't know what that was. Uh, you go here. 
And then you can go... There we go. That looks better. Like that. Uh, and then I can take the back one. Yes. That's much nicer. And then some stations here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great. So now we've built a lot of infrastructure and we don't really have a lot of uh, cash remaining. So now it's time for us to build trains. And then we, uh, as we do that, we start uh, burning through money. Let's have a look at uh, a station or a train. This one. Uh, we have different options here for the trains. The workhorse is the balanced one. If you can see here, it has stop speed of 50 versus uh, the other one that has... 33 or 75 uh, the advantages of this one is uh, the small one the boiler one is even the slow and can't really climb then it can carry a lot of weight if we do it to custom it's fast but cannot carry a lot of weight but if we look at it like this then we take 72 tons and 72 tons so that i think this is the best option uh, option for us it's fast it can climb it can carry exactly what we need and has a good uh, issue so we're, this is going to be our train here then we're going to go up to this signal. Signals are linked to trains. And then I'm going to go over here to alternating. That means it'll try to go into whichever one is free. It'll alternate, but it'll choose the ones that are free. Now that's also going to be here. So that means I can just, they'll just find their way itself. There are no signals per se, at least not yet. Um, in what I've seen of the game so far. So now we have two trains. Uh, we don't have a lot of money. So we are going to be making do with two trains. And then I'm going to make another train over here. And again, I'll do exactly the same. Because I really like this train here. Oh, that's maybe alternating. That needs to be alternating. This is not. Now it's alternating. And that's kind of important because when I configure and clone the train, then I want to make sure that it also goes out alternating there. That's good. We will now need to get another train in here. That one. Oops. That one. And... I'll do the same. This looks like a good train. I'll alternate at this location and I'll alternate at that location. And then I'll build two of these trains here. Good. So once we just have two of these trains inbound, then we will be uh, happy and everything will be good. We get exactly what we want. We don't have the steel here yet. So that's a bit early. But this is working and it's starting to make some steel. We just need to export eight of those. Um, and we can then see we are get making a lot of money on our interests, even though, yeah. So we don't have a lot of money to work with, but we have a lot of uh, income already based on this. What we need to do now is uh, I think we need to start. We might as well start scaling up here, um, adding more trains. All of the trains have the same schedule so uh, for this loop. So that's going to be good. And I will also add some more loops here. And uh, that's going to be here. And I'll do another one. Clone train there. Uh, not enough, not enough what? Not enough money to place the train. How much does this train cost? This is a cheap train. Look at that. We can do that. Great. So when we get the next steel delivery in, which is coming here. And there we go. Strength of the steel flow. Average production is 5 out of uh, six, 36 per minute. Quarter of this region is this level 3 steel mill. Your task is to maximize the flow of steel for export. Set up a basic supply line, then double up the flow of inputs, exports, and catalyst. This region has potential to export steel like a waterfall, if you feed it right. All right, I've never seen a steel waterfall, and I don't want to be in it. So we definitely need to scale up. Uh, we've added some more trains here. We'll need to get more trains here, and then we'll basically look at this location and just see what is missing. We're definitely going to be missing. The first thing that I think we'll get... Uh, better is by making a catalyst so catalyst comes from a coal power plant because it makes energy and energy serves as our catalyst so we're going to make it just a little train line here it's not going to be very big it's not going to be very impressive it just needs to be uh, going back and forth here um is this there that is the smallest of small stations we can do one two three four four one, two, three, four. I think that works. As long as one of them is inlined, then it should work. We'll see. That will be our... We'll do the same kind of train. Even though it maybe didn't need it. Uh, this is speed. Storage full. It goes in, fills it up. Goes over here. Unloads. Then we need to find a way to get that over to this location. So I think... Can we build a station below this? It looks like it.
like that. Um, maybe... Maybe like this. And then the question is, can this... Yeah. One, two, three, and... Oh, that's a tough one to get in here. There. One, two, three, four. And the steel up here. Oh, the station up here. One, two, three, four. We're also going to make it a train station. Is this working? Yeah, it's making some... It gets water as a catalyst if it needs to be. So we're making a train here as well. Make the same kind of train that we're doing for the other ones. That gets in. Gets it. Gets the energy loaded. Brings the energy over to this location for the steel mill. And then we'll see how that works. Uh, let's have a look at locations here. It looks like we're not exporting things fast enough from the steel mill, so that's good. Well, it's not good, but it gives us uh, an opportunity here to uh, build more trains. There we go. So now we have four trains, plus four, plus four. This definitely needs more as well. We can see that oh, steel is actually working quite well. Um, compared to coal, but I think that's... Oh, the iron is working better than the coal. So I think over here we need to have a bit of a challenge as well. We are going to get some trains inbound. And that's going to be an absolute nightmare, I think. And let's do that. So that's one station potentially taken from these two. Then if we come from this location. Oh no. Oh no. Uh I think it's because if they if they cross like evenly then they can cross. Yeah, they can cross like this. That's that's good. There. That's also going to be like inbound for a station that looks 1 2 3 4 and another station that goes here in 2 3 4. That's going to be hanging out Hanging his ass out in that location, so let's not do that. Oops, uh, salvage that. Um, you are connected, so we can do that. Good. And this will now go over again to this location, so I'm going to need to get my lines up there. And I'm going to need to get two lines in, so... Something like this. And then the other one will go... We're making a good amount of money here. We, uh... What? Oh, right. This is because it's uh, down at the ground floor. We don't want to do that. That's why it didn't... There. And into that one. Yes, that's good. And then go here. And then go start branching that way, I guess. And you branch here. And we don't need to stay at this site. Well, I don't know. There. And. This seems. Okay. So this. I think we can do just a little bit better. Yep. And. Ah. Come on. Yes, that's working. And we get now a station. One, two, three, four. And up here. One, two, three, four. That's the stations. That's the stations. Now we need more trains coming into this location here. Get a train. That's one. And that will be set to alternate this one and alternate that one. So it switches between these two. And we now have this train. I'm going to get more of those. Four. Sweet. That's more trains coming in. Looks like Catalyst is working. Uh, coal is not working, but that's what we're working on here. We're working on feeding the coal. Is yeah, these are not working. So that's a uh, kind of a kind of a a problem. Um, what we want to do now is uh, we want to well, iron's not good. This will come in and get a lot more coal. Uh, let's see. You're going to three. You're going in with three. 
This is only getting two of those because it couldn't really get enough. So we definitely need to scale up and upgrade some of these and we can do that luckily. There we go. It costs 2000 to do an upgrade and gets plus 50% uh, production speed. So we'll just uh, get those as soon as we get the money because we are, well, our interest was really low for whatever reason. There we go. Just spend all our money on uh, upgrading this and then figuring out if we have enough. This is need input. Yeah, okay. But the train here has enough so i don't actually need a lot more input even though this is just a small train going back and forth we could also just reduce it if we want to to limit upkeep but it's a very small amount uh, of money so what are we at we're at 15 and we now need to figure out if where our things are not going so the train here was just passing straight through because it wasn't getting enough um and you can see now we have six and will that be coming in so really it's still the coal that's not great and I think we just need to upgrade where we can. Get more upgrades in so we get uh, production faster. This is 100 workforce is 100% times the level and catalyst. And that gives us uh, 11 seconds for one production here. And I think we can just go. Uh, what we can do is we can just withdraw money from our bank. Uh, so we can just withdraw 10,000 because that will lower our but we are all about getting these upgrades so let's get all of our coal upgrades going there and oh that's already up that's already updated so now we have a massive amount of extra coal coming in and we want to see if we are consuming them fast enough because if we're not then we need more trains uh, this one here it only got two and this one only got one so we're not really it's not more trains we need up here it's just more production if we look at uh, this part here uh, this got a full train, good. And this one coming in here is also getting a full train, maybe. And nope, not quite a full train. What about uh, this one here? Two plus zero. Level one. What we need to be aware of is that we will now have way more coal inbound than iron. So we should probably also start looking at these upgrades, even if they are not needed right now. But instead of waiting for that to be out. And then we definitely need to have more trains. Uh, let's throw in a few more trains there and another train as well. Let's put that here. There we go. So that's six trains on this location and that will get us more throughput. We will at some point also need to export faster, but that's, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see if, if that, when that is necessary. Oh, wow. This one did not actually uh, get anything. Look at that. We have 12 now. So maybe it's time for us to get, add another train. I don't know. We'll add another train here. Why not? And this cannot be upgraded. And as long as energy is fine, this cannot. We'll need an upgrade license to upgrade that. This one, no need. We also need an upgrade license. And it doesn't really have a lot of uh, stuff going in here. But it's, again, kind of irrelevant. It doesn't need much. Um, still has some storage. It comes in once in a while. And let's see, you can't really control, like, stand here until ready. It'll just it'll just work the way that it works. This is working. This gets three. Mm, so not a full train. Actually, it did get a full train. Okay, cool. This is zero, this is one. And if we want to upgrade something, then this would be, like, a good thing to upgrade because this is used by both of those. Uh, up here, we can also just continue on more. And customize to Excel lowercase excel though and still for some reason coal is not the fastest that we are getting in here and we just have to wonder if as long we want this one to work all the time because that's if it doesn't work all the time we're not going to get the output so you can see here the 27.8 per minute because it's not getting enough coal inbound so what can we do to get more coal inbound it's all about just getting getting these ones scaled up as much as possible so we can get uh, production and then at some point the trains will not keep up uh, so this challenge here or this location is all about sort of the challenge of, of figuring out how to get the maximum throughput uh, of, of what we have so now we're getting steel we're up to 31 that's pretty good but coal is still not coming in and I don't really know where I would want to upgrade uh, this is 150 so we can just throw another upgrade at this I mean, we used our money when we have it, so let's, uh, let's do that until we get to a point where this is stacking up and we don't actually have a train inbound. Look at that. That's actually right now. Uh, we got a train inbound. 
2 plus 2 plus 2, that's definitely going to be an issue. So let's uh, just throw another chain right in here. Get that in there. More trains. And what about this location? Is it getting 1 plus 1 plus 0? And we got at least a full train out. I think we could get another train in here. If we up did some more upgrades here and there. There we go. I will just withdraw more money so we can... No, that's not it. Withdraw money. There. We're not going to make money from interest. Now we should make money from our revenue. And we can then get our upgrade and upgrade these as well. Oops. There. Get that upgrade. And this is... Sure, as long as the, we have the issue is lack of coal, then keep pushing this. That one, 31.8. I wonder how we get even faster. As long as we... Now it looks like we are having everything in production here. And I would venture the guess that we might be running out of, of steel at this point. Oh, box of trains. Don't know what that means. But uh, it's a box of trains. This is keeping up uh, very much so. So it's just more trains coming in and more trains uh, being unloaded. I can see that we are, the trains are not particularly close here. So I think that we can definitely do something about it. Oh, how I wish I would could fix that line or just get it out here so we get would be uh, more. But that would mean all of my trains have to do redo the the pathing like this, and then I'd have to kill like that line. Oh, no, 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 no. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And look at that. That's the horror of it. Uh, you can see that they don't collide. They just pass through, weirdly enough. Uh, that's going to be up. And I need to get that out. Uh, there. So now we have the disaster of all of this have to be uh, redone. And all of that has to be redone. And next one. Have to set each and every one. For all the switches that are changed. They are alternating. Just because we wanted just a little bit nicer things. Uh, you. Clone train here. And clone train there. Yes. And these are gold here. And we'll keep focusing. If it's gold then this... Okay, so now all the trains that have passed through are now correct. Steel production, look at that. We are now unable to keep up with the iron part because we did so much on the coal part. So now we definitely need more trains inbound here. Well, I don't know if we need more trains. Uh, as long as these are keeping up, then we're all good. And let's see, get another clone train there. And yeah, I know they're slowing down a bit, but let's... Oh no, it's just passing straight through. Never mind. It should be fine. So we just want more trains in here. There will always be be a train waiting, basically. Look at that. As soon as this loads, next one, next one. Uh, I'm going to upgrade this as well. Because we don't have the money for Or the money is just not for anything else. We're up to 32.3. So squeezing all we can. And then figuring out if we might need more trains for bringing stuff in. So let's uh, add another train here. Um, add another train... This is why we have a bit longer lines so they can actually be in here and that can be another one waiting as well. So let me just add another train here as well. Yep, we are getting as many trains as we can. Look at that. There should be, these should be always just queuing up. And then you will go in here. Okay, it looks, looks like we're getting with 34. So we're getting there and we're now having issues with, this is as fast as we can load things. So we'll have, always have a train at each Location waiting. This is as, as fast as 35.5, 35.6. So this is uh, looking good for our little build. I think we're going to get it if we... Uh, yeah, we are going to get it. We are going to get it. 39. And there we go. Mission complete. So I hope that that made sense in terms of how this game plays. There are different challenges. Maybe it's supply chain of, pass of, of patching things up in the sequence. Maybe it's about getting the throughput just right. Uh, we also got uh, 18 minutes, so we got uh, we got the best rating here. Um, 
so that makes a lot of sense. Let me just go to photo mode so we can just have a look around at the map. So I think that uh, this is a good demonstration of how this game plays. There are some challenges, but it feels more like a puzzle game. And well, of course, with chain uh, elements, then it feels sort of like uh, factorial trains unleashed, for example. So it's a definitely a different feel and uh, it, it, it plays really well. So I think I, I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. So uh, I can uh, me and the algorithm and everyone else can find out that this is a game. This is a a video worth watching. And of course, if you want to keep up with more content here on the channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date. Uh, also, I'm streaming on Twitch, I usually trying a new game out every week and then doing a highlights here on YouTube. And then I aside from this, doing massive amounts of factory games of all sorts. So uh, with that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.